Today we'll look at how to create a picture-in-picture -picture effect for DaVinci Resolve. This is a great effect for tutorials and gaming channels, and I use it on my own channel all the time. I'll also show you how to save these effects so you can easily reuse them later. And I'll show you exactly how I edit the footage on my own channel. So let's jump in. I'm here in DaVinci Resolve, and I've created this project here. You can see on my background layer, I have this footage of Mars. If I scroll forward a little bit, I have an astronaut. Let's say I want to make this astronaut a picture-in-picture -picture over my Mars footage. Let me first show you the basic way of doing this. It's not my preferred way, but it's quick and easy and useful to know. So with my astronaut selected, I can simply click this transform button here. So I'll click that. And then I can resize it and reposition it. And now if I play through, I have a basic picture in picture effect. Now with that clip selected, I can also expand the inspector tab over here. And then there's other options I can add as well. For example, cropping, I can crop the left, I can crop the right. And there's some other settings you can tweak too. Let me show you a much easier way to do the same things. So I've reset my clip here. And my preferred way to set up picture in picture is to use the DVE effect. So I'll click effects up here. And then make sure you're on the toolbox level selected up here. I'll search for it. And I'll click DVE. You can see it's right here. I'll click and drag it over my astronaut. I'll let go. And we instantly have the picture in picture effect here. You can see there's already a border and shadow there. Now, of course, you want to customize this. So with my astronaut clip selected, I'll go to the inspector tab, make sure you're on the effects, and then you'll see the DVE option here. This is because we added that effect to our clip. Now, if I scroll down, there's tons of options. Probably the most useful is border, so I'll expand that. Scroll down. I can change the color of my border, so I'll click this. Let's say I want to set it to white. I'll click OK. I can also change the cropping and shape of my border. So I can bring in the edges. I can even change the radius to make it rounder. And by alternating these, you can make it a circle. So there we have a circular picture-in-picture -picture effect. And if you scroll up, there's all sorts of other options you can do. You can even rotate it around if you like. But I'll just leave these settings alone. Now, you probably want to move this around the screen. So with the astronaut clip selected, you may be tempted to use the transform option here. But if I do this, it just moves around my footage within the frame. Now, sometimes that's what you want to do. So maybe I want to center this a little bit more. Let's get it centered there. I think it's pretty good there. I'll press play. You can see it's moving. But we want to move around this whole frame. So once again, I'll go back to the effects tab for the DVE. And up top, you want to alter the position. Now you can click and drag on numbers in DaVinci Resolve to move something. So I'll change the X by clicking and dragging on it. Let's put it over there. Then I'll move it down. Right there. Zoom out a bit. If you want to change the size of this, you can change the zoom here. So I'll adjust the zoom. You can make it smaller, you can make it a little bit bigger. But I think right there is good. And here we have our final result. Now if you make the same kind of video a lot, for example, recording yourself talking to a webcam, you may want to save these picture-in-picture -picture effects to reuse them later. So let me show you how I do that. First, let me reset my timeline. I'll just delete this astronaut. Let's add it back in. Now, the method I use is to add an adjustment clip to my video. I apply the DVE effect to the adjustment clip, and then I save that adjustment clip into a power bin. Now, if you don't know what those terms mean, don't worry. We'll look at them right now. So once again, I'll expand my effects, and I'll search for an adjustment clip. Here we have it there. So I'll click and drag it on top of the astronaut clip down here. Now the length of it doesn't really matter. I'll just put it in the middle somewhere. Now an adjustment clip itself doesn't have any video, but we can apply effects to it that affect the video below it. So for example, I have my adjustment clip selected right here. I can change the zoom of it. I can zoom out. I can rotate. I can pitch and yaw. So when I play through the adjustment clip, it's having that effect. But when the clip ends, it goes back to the normal video again. So let me reset the adjustment clip here. So now what I'm going to do is add the DVE effect to the adjustment clip. So go to the effects again. Let's search for DVE. Now I'm going to drag it onto the adjustment clip. I'll put it there. And I'm going to change the settings to what I want. So I'll scroll down. Once again, maybe I want to have that white border. Make it white. Change the width. Make it round. 
I think that's pretty good. Maybe I want it to be a little more squarish. Change the position. Let's get it over there. And I'll move it down here. And this is what our adjustment clip is doing. So I'll play through it. And you can see it ends here. Now the really cool thing about adjustment clips is that I can save it to a power bin and reuse it in another project. So to access my power bins, I'll go to media pool. And then down here it says power bins. Now if you don't see that, click on these three dots here and then select show power bins. It might not be shown by default. And what power bins do is let you share things across projects. So I'll select my power bin here. If you want, you can right click and create sub bins to it, but I'll just leave it in the master. I'll take my adjustment clip here. I'll click and I'll drag it in. Then I'll let go. I'll rename this. I'll call it my pip adjustment. Hit enter. Now I'll close this and create a new DaVinci Resolve project. So I'll close this. Let's restart DaVinci. So let's create a new project. I'll call it pip02. Let's bring in some media. So now let's say I have this background image. We can see Mars from space. And I'll bring astronaut footage in again. Now maybe this is a common style of footage you have in your videos. Now we want that picture in picture effect. I'll just go to my power bin. I'll take the pip adjustment. I'll drag it in here. Now here's the key way we can apply this effect. With my pip adjustment selected, I'll press control C. Now I'll select my astronaut footage and I'm going to press alt V. This is going to paste the properties of the adjustment clip. You can also say edit paste attributes, but I'll just press alt V. And now I want to select the video attributes. I think you can probably just select fusion effects, but I'll select all the video attributes. Now I'll click apply. And you can see we have their picture and picture effect applied. Then you can select the adjustment and delete it. Okay, now let me show you a real life example of how I edit my videos. Here I have the footage that I imported into DaVinci Resolve. Now I record my footage using OBS and I record the desktop and my webcam into one video. So on the left is my desktop and on the right is my webcam. This helps me sync up the activity and voice much better. I have a video on how I set up this dual recording process. I'll put a link down in the description below. You can also see all the cuts in my video. This was actually automatically done with a program called Gling. It's a super time saver. I also did a video on that and we'll include the link below. So the first thing I do here is I zoom out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate all my footage. So I'm going to Alt and I'm gonna drag. And this will just select the video, not the audio. Then I'll hold Alt again and I'll drag up. So I've basically doubled my video. Now you're not gonna see any difference now because it's just the same video on top of the same video. But now I like to name the bottom layer desktop. And now I'll name the top layer pip. Scroll up. Now, if your UI is lagging a lot when you do this type of thing, I highly recommend setting up proxies. And as you can guess, I also have a video on that that I'll link below. So now let's apply the adjustment clips. So I'll go to my media pool. And in my power bins, I have two adjustment clips here. One is for desktop. I can just drag that anywhere. And the other is for pip left. So I'll just drag that somewhere too. So if I zoom in, you can see this is what they are. So let's apply the picture in picture first. So I'll select this. I'll zoom out here. Now I'm going to select this top row. This is my picture in picture, the attributes. So Alt V. I want the video attributes selected. So make sure they're selected. I'll click apply. And now you can see the picture in picture is set. Let's do the same thing for the desktop. Control C. Alt select all the bottom row. Alt V. Apply. And now we have the desktop configured. So I can delete my two adjustment clips. Now, if you zoom in anywhere in the video, you can see I have the picture and picture effect set up. So it takes me about 20 seconds to configure that. And if I want, I can go anywhere in the video. Maybe there's one part where I want to delete it. So I'll delete this. So if I play through, then it's gone. I can also move it if I like. So I have the clip selected here. I go to inspector, go to effects, make sure you're on DVE and change the position. Maybe I want it on the right side for a little bit and I can have it there. If I want to zoom in on the background, I can delete my picture in picture, select the background layer here, and then zoom. So it's a very flexible system, and I can set it up very quickly using my predefined power bins over here. So like I said, there's a few other things I've done to set this up, including OBS dual screen recording and setting up proxies. So check out those links in the description. And of course, if you have any questions on this process, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.